What's up, Geek Gang? This is Lenny from Geek by Heart, and I am going to talk to you about The Last of Us Episode 2. Whew! Let's go! Alright, so first I want to talk about just overall impressions. Um, some of the things that I really, really liked about this episode. Once again, they are sticking to the game. There are changes, and most of the changes are welcome. Some we will talk about like, eh, I'm not sure about, but most of them are welcome. First change that's welcome is the prologue. Once again, they set this world up for you. It works for a TV show. It does not work for a video game, but it definitely works for a TV show. And they're now telling you how it really started, or I guess patient semi-zero, okay, um, in Jakarta, in Indonesia. And that scene, that scene was so sad because it was surgically precise as what it's supposed to do. It sets up like, yup, cordyceps can be in a human and wow, bomb everybody. And even as that doctor, she's basically saying bomb me included because she's like, don't take me to the airport, take me home to my family. And that, that, that line right there was like so devastating to me. All right, but at the same time, it does a great job of just saying like, listen, if you are a fan of the game, we're giving you more information. If you're not a fan of the game, we are catching you up from what you should know and even beyond, okay? And again, that is just such a great breath of fresh air that they are doing for everybody to get in the same level playing field. All right, another change that they did was Tess. Okay, um, spoilers if you um, have not seen the episode yet and want to be like, oh, I don't want to know. Spoilers, we go into all that. Okay, if you are ready, let's go. All right, so Tess. Tess dies in the game by Fedra, but in the TV show, she dies by Clickers and... Whew. Oh, I'm going to keep on saying, oh my God, because that literally figuratively took my breath away first the fact that she died by clickers it just kind of juxtaposed with ellie living and the fact that she definitely is immune that was beautiful in itself and then the fact that she died the way she died so like looking at the clicker who already has like the cordyceps coming out of his mouth okay and usually those were runners those were not full-on clickers those are runners so therefore as their name implies they are fast as fuck but when they see her the ones that came to her was just stalking and then slowed down the tension of that the tension of that to me that was the episode right then and there it extends that great writing that the game has and just expands on it and the fact that it's like that 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 infected just came to her and then kissed her i know i was not the only one who winced when y'all saw that because i know i did okay it was still a stroke of genius, still great writing to bring us in. And I think that that is a change that definitely is welcomed. All right, now even speaking about Tessa's dying, I think that Ellie, we should have found out that Ellie was immune then. So first off, if you look back in episode one, you already know that she probably got bit and that she's probably immune, immune before they even say anything. The fact that they have her chained, the fact that they have her like counting or whatever, and then like, you know, doing this or whatever, they're, they're running tests, right? So you see that they already knew that she was bit. It's introducing us to being that she was bit. I really feel like they should have held that from us until that point, because I think that it would have even added more gravitas to her death. Now, granted, I know that in the game, you find out pretty much when you found out in the last episode, okay, when they're trying to go um, away from the QZ zone. But again, I think that if you would have just held on to that, okay, because not only that, the way they said it, they, they set it up in last episode, it was so quick because it was at the end of that episode. It was like, it doesn't hit. Everybody knew that. 
And yes, everybody knew that, but just for the people that didn't, okay? If you would have saved it for that moment, when Tess was dying, where I was about to die, or at least saying that, listen, I I'm infected, okay? And then juxtapose it with her, yo, that would have rocked. That would have even brought more to that scene and her death already. Um, and like I said, don't get me wrong, I'm not that crazy that they kept it that way, but listen, it wasn't a bad choice either. So that they kept it away, they kept it that way. All right, now here's what I'm not too sure about. Okay, follow me. I know that they have made it clear that at least in this season, it's not gonna be about the spores, it's gonna be about the tendrils. And they really do introduce that in this episode. I'm being nitpicky, so I'm okay with that. But I, I just don't know if that works for me. Um, I feel like if you're going to be as nitpicky by saying we're not going to use spores because the characters are gonna need to be masked up all the way. First of all, in the game, they're not masked up, I would say 75% of the time, okay? Usually you're not masked up. So I feel like that could have been a thing, but all right, whatever. But at the same time, you're gonna have to take special care about where the hell you're walking, okay? where the hell that you're walking because like oh you're going to pick and choose like oh this spore tendril line is dead versus this spore tendril line is not like i don't know i feel like we're opening a big door to pandora's box that i'm not sure we should have okay but let's see how it pans out all right like i said i i, I want it to work okay but i'm just not sure that it really could work consistently so again let's see how it pans out I mean, overall, we can sum up how great this episode was with the clickers. Ooh, just even thinking about it, we've seen how beautiful and fucking crazy they look, all right, from the trailers. We even heard and seen how they move a little bit in the trailers, but it is so different to watch that museum scene unfold. Like for real, I rewound it just to watch it again. It was awesome. Okay, I mean, one thing was that just the overall thinking of gameplay how that seamlessly merged with the way that they were ducking from those clipper clickers. You would have thought that you were in the game and it was totally made sense for what the characters had to do to survive. That was number one. Number two, the jerky movements. So unnerving just to watch, so unnerving. Like I, at one point, like when I first watched it, I was holding my breath and didn't realize I was holding my breath. Okay? Like, it was just that good. Okay? I think the only thing that I was not, like, Arr! when that cave-in came on, I was like, that noise should have definitely brought clickers running. And don't get me wrong, they started to yell, like, maybe 10 seconds afterwards, but I was like, nah, they, sh they should have been ghosts. They should have been, they should have left. Like, Joel, Ellie, Tess, they should have left because them clickers should have been running. But listen, if that's what I'm going to nitpick about, if that's the only thing I'm going to nitpick about, about a, a video game adaptation, I've won. I'll take it. I've won. I'm first place. We all first place. Okay? Because that is the only couple things that I could even think of like, mm, I'm going to nitpick about. Okay? And in all honesty, even the, the gripes that I had, they were so small that honestly, it didn't matter in the bigger scheme of things. You know, that's how good this show is right now. And once again, if episode one and two is any indication about what we're going to get this season, yo, it's now we're going to be looking at God of War and Amazon. Okay. And when they do their thing, I'm going to come right back at this seat and talk about it because I am a God of War fan. I have played mostly all their things. I did not play whatever was on the mobile, okay? But I played mostly all their games, and I'm still trying to get through Ragnarok as we speak right now. 
Okay. Um, so when that comes out, we're going to be talking about it. All right. So listen, if you like what you see, click on that subscribe button, click on notifications, give us a like. All right. Tell us what you think about episode two. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think that I was just being too nitpicky with my gripes? So you're like, Hmm, you had a point. All right. What did you think? Let us know in the comments below. All right. I am Lainey. We are all Geek by Heart and we will see you when we see you.